This is the new Planet Coach Session Planner software. You can find this inside our members area and it is available to members only. You can save images and animation videos to share with players, coaches and parents whenever you wish. So let's get started. If you go in the members area, you'll find this Session Planner software and it'll appear as you see on the screen. You have got an option for a full pitch, like we show here, and at the top you can change it to just half a pitch or the other side if you want to. You can also get rid of the default lines that we've put out to create your own area. So we've got the full pitch as you see here, but if you click this button, you can get rid of that and create your own area if you wish. You can also add your own goals, so we've got the big goal option here and this can be moved around to face whichever direction you want it to. We've also got the mini goals and again they can be moved around using this button to whatever way you want them to face. We've got a small traffic cone, a normal cone and a big traffic cone. If you want to change the colour of these you can do so by using this slider tool here and changing the colour of the cone, so you might want a blue cone. If you want to get rid of any of the items that you've put out, you can select this arrow tool, this selector tool here, click on the item and click on this red circle and it will delete what you have already put out. So let's just delete all those off. I'm going to change the default colour back to white, so anything that we put on the pitch now is going to show as white. You've then got your player options up here so we've got team number one two three and four we, we thought it was important to have more than two teams because sometimes training sessions you will need more than two different teams so let's go on team number one you can change the color of your team with these sliders so you've got two options if you want two different shades for a team but we're just going to stick with two options being red so we've just got one color block here start with the goalkeeper we'll put number two right back and left back out put the two center backs out and we'll have a holding midfielder in there as well now if you want another team just click on one of the other teams two three or four and again you can change the color of these you can also change the size so let's just go back to team number one we've got two size options so we've got the smaller option which is here and the slightly larger option which is this one so we'll click off that next one we'll just stick a ball in there for now goalkeeper's got the ball next one we're going to look at is the line so you can have a curved line a, an arrow you can have that dashed or you can have it straight so we're just going to start with a dashed one here and we're going to make sure the arrow is white you can change that color if you wish um, go with straight line here which is dashed so let's say we want to draw a line from the goalkeeper playing out to number two and then we want the number two to play it to the number four so that is how you draw your lines you can also add shapes oh sorry we'll just go back to lines for a second um, you can change the size of your line so how those ones are really thin you can make it a little bit wider here or you can make it really wide on this option so if we want to get rid of them again we just click on the arrow and click on the red circle and that will get rid of whatever we've just drawn next up is the shape so we've got a circle and a square we'll start with a circle you can change the size again just like the arrows you can have a small medium or large option you can also choose the option to have it shaded or blocked out and let me just show you one of these so this is a circle and that's with no infill here if you want it shaded click on this one and if you want it blocked out click on that one and again if we want to get rid of them click the select tool and delete it off the pitch the next one is the text so if you want to add coaching points you can do that in here pound sign there one two and three and you can move that around 
With the selector tool, you can also increase the size of the text. And again, if you want to delete it, click the red button. So let's go and save this image now. So let's say we want to just save the image, click on this camera option here, and the image will save to your device as a JPEG. You can share that with your team or players. And the next option we're gonna look at is the animation. So creating this into a video. This is the tool down here. So on slide one, this is how we want the team to look. If we add a new slide, we can then move the ball. Let's say the goalkeeper passes to two. Number four moves up the pitch, number five does, number six does, and number three does. We can then add another slide, and let's say the two is playing to the number five, and then making a forward run. Number six is moving forward, and number three is, and number four is doing the same. Add another slide, and so on, until you get up the pitch to where you want your animation to go. Watching this back, we just need to go back to slide number one and press play, and the animation will play as a video through all the slides that you have created. If you want to delete one of those slides, click this red X here and it will delete one of the numbers. You can also make the slides as quick or as slow as you want. So we've got the two times here. If you click the four times, that will play a little bit faster, like so. And if you click the one times, that will obviously go a little bit slower, or a lot slower in this case. Okay, so if you want to save this animation to your device, you click the record button here and it will record your video. on the slowest option, the slow motion. And once you've recorded your video, it will save to your device as so. So that is how you save your animations and your images. If you want to get rid of everything that you've done, there's this reset button here. Maybe click the reset button, it'll just wipe everything off your screen. So that is how you use the Session Planner software. You can also make it full screen if you wish to.